I'm in Ad. It's good to have you back. How have you been? Uh, I've been good. Yeah. So, tell me, how did you choose Depo? I mean, let's not go too far back because you might not remember much of the stuff. But you, uh, you're in Depo University. You yeah. finished your first semester, mm-hmm. right? And you were here for the winters. You're going back uh, for the winter holidays, uh, and you will join your spring semester. Yeah. Uh, tell us, just briefly, how did you select Depo? Maybe you could share. what your expectations were and then how those expectations maybe were met in terms of the university you know, uh, in itself hey um as far as i remember i chose the program because of the course and because of the coach and our communication and at that time i really like the coach and the assistant coach at that time so that made me choose the program other than the other colleges i had shortlisted uh, my expectations were that it's going to be a really good school and really good football they basically football but i didn't expect it to be at a really high level but i got really surprised when i went there and saw playing there that there are a lot of talented players just all over america so i think that was the only thing i didn't expect other than that i think Well, you yeah, know, I mean, just just for our viewers uh, who'd be watching this video, Ninad is from the Sri Ram School, yeah. and uh, uh, played the the amateur league in Delhi, yeah. and obviously played for the school football team as well. Yeah. And one of the star players at Sri Ram School, of course, uh, had been uh, following uh, your your success in school all through the years, and and I'm very happy to hear that uh, you found uh, the program challenging. Mm-hmm. So, uh, tell us about the football. I mean. Depo University is a small university, uh, which has uh, which which plays in the NCAA Division Three, uh, and and quite honestly, uh, there may be some lack of understanding uh, mm-hmm. with with players and students from India who who uh, who think that maybe Division Three football is not as good as Division One just because one has a better number than three, yeah. but that's not true, right? That's right. Uh, so tell us about that. I used to think that too, but when I reached there and it showed me that Division Three is actually a really high level too. It's just that people already think that Division One is obviously going to be better, but it's not that Division Three is bad. It's still a really high level. I feel like it's the facilities and all is pretty similar as Division One, and it's as hard as Division One because there are a lot of players who transfer from Division One to Division Three. Really? Yeah. Why would somebody transfer from one Division One to Division Three? Uh. I saw that I know there was a senior who for his last year came to Division Three because he felt like Dubai was a perfect school for him at that time, and he was getting opportunities to play there because of his being a senior and it was his last year of eligibility. So he felt like Dubai was a good place to come yeah. and high level football. So. Interesting. So tell me, what was the season now? Uh, soccer, as it is known in the US, and we call it football, obviously all over the world. Uh, is a is a fall season sport yeah right so the fall season is from august to december yeah what was the season like what was a typical week like for you how much did you play how how much did you practice what were the matches like was there any trouble balancing the academics it all starts with the fitness test which is really hard and if you're not prepared for it there's no way you can get into the team oh really so the fitness test Was the first thing I started with, and then we had like the preseason. But when the season started, we had like training every day, and then we had like a match schedule which we had. And based on when the matches were, we used to have trainings. Like if it's a light training before the match day, other than that, we train every day except a day after the match for time off. And it was just training every day, weights, nutrition, everything was just. kept on check it was a lot of team bonding activities we did uh, a lot of away games and it's a rough schedule for the past like for 3 2 months and then after that when the season ends it's all a relief cuz it's been too much and it's too much of football really but well, it's really fun the, yeah. well yeah. some some players will be surprised to hear that yeah uh, because i know how football crazy you were yeah. when you were here and you telling me that that it was a relief that we got some break yeah yeah Nice. And tell me about the academics. What are the academics like at Depop? Uh, uh, are they challenging? Uh, what are the classes like? How hard was it for you to balance your football with the with the academics? 
So the classes and courses we get at Bar are really good, and we have a lot of options because of it's a liberal school. So we have a lot of classes, a lot of options, and it's really good because it's a small size of a class. It's not more than 25 people in a class, which helps you in like one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teacher, and professor, and we get extra time if you want one-on-one -on -one sessions with them. It's that's not possible in larger like larger schools because right. you won't get to know the professor there because of so many students in one class. But I think class in academic it's really challenging. Um, a lot of internals, a lot of final exams. It's fun. <laughs> and and of course it's too early because you've just spent a semester there. But you think that the professors have been helpful? Uh, any issues you have? Approachable? Oh, we, yeah, we can approach them anytime. Uh, that's the best thing. I feel like we just have to send a mail and they'll give us a time, a schedule, an appointment, and we can get as much time as we want with them. Right. And it's good for us because then if we need extra help and we don't have to take help from like other students or anything, we can just go to the teacher yeah. and just study with them. Right. And so what, what will uh, off-season be like? Now the next semester spring, which starts uh, towards end of January, uh, you'll have two months uh, till the spring break, probably mid-March would be your spring break. Yeah. And then after that, uh, you would probably have another two months till mid-May, uh, mid right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, typically I find the spring semester slightly longer than the fall semester. Yeah. Uh, what would that be like for you in terms of football, in terms of academics? Um, spring season is mostly in the month of March is actual training with our coach. Other than that, we only have weight training and pickup games that the coach organizes. For us, mostly it's weight training because he doesn't want us to just forget about football because fall season will come in months and then we have to be prepared for it. So even if there's summer break and everyone's back at the home, he'll still give us a schedule on what to do and what not to do. Nice, that's good. That's good. Um, last question I have for you. Um, now, this is a small liberal arts university in the Midwest. The biggest question that some of the parents may have uh, is about uh, diversity, uh, inclusivity, uh, other, 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 what's the student population like, what's the community, student community like, uh, is it integrated? Do you find that it's easy place to make friends? Do you find any, um, you know, uh, disparity or, or you know, uh, change in behavior or something like that? How comfortable are you there? Um, it's really comfortable there because I didn't expect so many international students, but I'll say at least 25-30% of the school is international students. Wow. And it's good for us because then we have like people from us the same country as we were right. in and we can connect with them from the start. Right. But other than that, I think making friends is easy because you see the faces every day. It's a small school, 3,000 people. Right. So I feel right. like you can see the same face every day. And right. It's good. And we have a lot of student organizations for every country or society or mm -hmm. everything. Right. And uh, uh, so there's a diverse student population, but is there any diversity in your football team? Uh, in the football team, there's only me and uh, one more of my one more of my friends from India. Right. Uh, and except that there's. But how does it feel to be the only Asian on that team? Uh, it feels <laughs> really different because most of them can't pronounce our names. Right. So it's like different, and we have to make up names for ourselves. And, like, no, but are the teammates helpful, they're, friendly? They're, they're really helpful. They, started communicating with us from the start before even college started. We got assigned with the senior player. He told us about everything. If you had any questions about the fitness test or the schedule or anything. They were always helpful. Even the coaches were always helpful and just they had like good communication with them. So it was really good. That's great. I'm yeah. so happy to hear that it's been a good experience. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for dropping by and wish you all the best. Thank and you. Uh, keep sharing all your uh, experiences and your successes and mm -hmm. we're going to be rooting for you all the time. Thank you. Thanks, Nina.